These are images of a digital audio workstation, more commonly known by its acronym DAW. The DAW is an electronic device that is used for recording, editing, and producing audio files, and simplifies the whole process of audio recording. The DAW is the result of a series of fascinating innovations and inventions over the years in the field of capturing and recording sounds. The first real technological developments in audio recording materialized in 1859 when Edward Leon Scott D. Martinville invented the phonograph. By our standards today, it was pretty primitive in that it could record sound but not actually play it back. Instead, it displayed sound waves as squiggles and lines on suit blackened paper and glass. The phonograph did, despite its limitations, set the stage for far more groundbreaking innovations and a total change in society. It was, however, Thomas Edison's invention of the phonograph in 1877 that set the tone for conventional playback. Edison's invention made musical recordings possible from a strip of tin foil wrapped around a spinning cylinder. Sound was stored in hollow wax cylinders. In 1887, Emil Berliner patented the gramophone, which was the first to use a disc format. The gramophone had one machine to record and a turntable to play back the recording. Each disc could store about two minutes of sound and were more durable, smaller, and easy to produce. By 1912, Berliner's gramophone had effectively overtaken Edison's phonograph. Gramophones remained dominant till the 1980s, with vinyl becoming the main material for records in the 1950s. During the Second World War, the Germans invented magnetic tape recording, which they used for their wartime broadcasts. The third wave of audio development took place after the Second World War ended in 1945, with most nations making use of this German invention. The audio quality of magnetic tape recordings was far superior to the earlier disc recordings and also had the added advantages of making longer recordings and be able to edit them. From the 1950s, magnetic tapes became the standard medium for audio master recording in radio and music. In the 1950s, the husband and wife musical duo Les Paul and Mary Ford used tape editing and multi-tracking to create large virtual ensembles using only tape recordings of their own voices and instruments. The Beatles too used multi-tracking very effectively in their recordings. In the 1960s, the four-track recorder was the standard in many studios. The Beatles would make a recording using all four tracks. Then they would mix these tracks down onto one track of another machine. This process, called bouncing down, or reduction mixing in the UK, opened up three additional tracks for them to use for overdubs and other experimentation. Four-track recorders had their limitations, but it is a real tribute to the Beatles' skill and creativity when you realize what they were able to accomplish within the limits of four-track recorders. While magnetic tape had many great advantages over direct-to-disc recordings, it suffered from one annoying problem, namely that of tape hiss. The problem was not all that noticeable at first, but beginning in the 1970s with advances in solid-state electronics and improved speaker design, consumer equipment had improved to the point where the hiss was becoming apparent. To combat this problem, Dolby Laboratories developed a method to reduce tape noise. Today, Dolby Laboratories continues to be a leading global innovator and developer of audio, imaging, and voice technologies for cinema, home theaters, PCs, mobile phones, and games. Digital recording methods were introduced during the 1980s. Over the next decade, digital recording gradually displaced analog tape. The real advances in digital recording took place in the early 1990s as the capacity of computer hard drives and computer CPU speeds increased significantly. Today, almost all major recording studios have digital capabilities, although some still maintain magnetic tape recorders for certain situations. Digital recording completely eliminates the tape hiss problem. 
Just as magnetic tape introduced many innovations to the recording scene, the digital process also created new opportunities for creativity. Many of the special effects that previously were done with specialized equipment can now be done with software, contributing to improved sound quality. Multi-tracking in the digital era enables artists to record their songs separately at separate times. Through the magic of the mixing console, these two voices could be blended into a single duet. The magic of blending two voices belonging to two different eras can be heard in the hit duet There's a Tear in My Beer, in which Hank Williams Jr. recorded a vocal to accompany a previously unreleased copy of a demo sung by his father. The result was a hit duet recorded more than 30 years after his father had passed away. Audio technology continues to evolve, and no one knows what new innovations will be coming down the pipeline over the next few years. But if the previous advances in recording techniques are any indication, things are going to be truly amazing. <laughs>